everybody, and welcome to this 15th episode of Closing Out the Week with the Closers Podcast. I'm your host, as always, Mark Alvarado. And today, we have a, uh, a guy that hasn't been on the podcast since, I believe, the first Closing Out the Week. You were the inaugural guest of Closing Out the Week, and none other than my dad, Ruben, the kitties titties, Alvarado. Welcome back. Uh, thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> the kitties titties. Yep. That's right. The That's kitties right. titties. <laughs> Come and kids get some titties, kitty. <laughs> Drop his little knowledge for oh, you. Oh, God. Yeah. So if, if everybody's wondering where he got that nickname, it's because of Quinn the Moondog Kalani uh, hearing my dad uh, cut a promo for the podcast on his first appearance. And he was like, my dad was like, come here uh, and listen to <laughs> listen to the podcast where I t- talk to you kitties about my experiences being in a band, blah, 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 blah. And Quinn ate it up and was like, that's your dad's nickname, Ruben the Kitties Titties. That's right. <laughs> With his kitties. Yeah, so... Um, every kitty needs some titties. <laughs> so we're uh, we're kind of doing an impromptu little closing out the week because I haven't I didn't do one last week um, just because, you know, busyness, but I wanted to do something this week. I didn't want to just have myself like I have been the past couple, the couple weeks, so I wanted to actually do something a little bit, you know, more grand, actually have a... Uh, a guest on so my papa my dad how are you doing fine doing great <laughs> i'm sorry you were about that's to right. drink Admi- your coffee admit <laughs> sip but that's okay um i'm doing fantastic especially fantastic. after that raiders win huh yeah i'm just still basking in my glory i just can't believe i did it <laughs> so yeah. You've been a Raiders fan for a long time, right? I've been a Raiders fan since probably 1971, 70, something around there. I see. Okay. So you've seen I've Stabler. Seen Stabler. La Monica. Actually, La Monica, Stabler, and Plunkett. Dan Pastorini for the uh, four or five games he played. Dan Pastorini. <laughs> just before Plunkett. And then um, all along. It's been great. Uh a lot of ups and downs, huh? For the last thirty years, more downs than ups, but <laughs> but it's been a rough road. It's been a rough road. So, what? Why? Why? Why the Raiders? Why not the Niners? Because you're from the Bay Area, as you, as we all know. So why why the Raiders specifically? Because the Niners were pretty good in the '80s, right? So they were, yeah, they were horrible when I was a kid. Uh, they were kind of. I just didn't like that. I, I was attracted to more to the Raiders. And nine, for a while, the Niners were my NFC team uh-huh. until, you know, but I just kind of had to, I rooted for them at yeah. a distance. Everyone wasn't a, even yeah. considered a, a diehard fan, but uh-huh. like a lot of people in the Bay Area. And then once the Raiders left for LA and then the Niners started winning and then the Niners fans became so uh, arrogant. And, um, and then I said, yeah, I'm done with these uh, Niners. And then. So the 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 splitting of Raiders fans and Niners fans came when the Niners started doing good, from when what the, you've seen, and when the when the Raiders left for LA, that's when it, the big split really happened. That's when a lot of former Raider fans became Niner fans. They became obnoxious Niner fans, and um, and they didn't um, uh, like the Raiders anymore, and so. And then the, the Niner fans that were there was really not not that many to speak of. All of a sudden, there was Niner fans coming out of the woodworks when they won the Super Bowl, and then everybody's been diehard Niner oh. fans since, uh, you know, since that time. That's why they say since oh, Y A Tittle. <laughs> no, no, they didn't even know that. Every mostly got oh, okay. Niner fans. I, I were, okay. They think they think that the the first game that the Niners ever played was in 1980 when the catch was made that was before that there was no Niners it was <laughs> there was just they, they just didn't happen I because you hear all I go back all the way back to the catch okay well yeah there was 1950s that was another 30 years of yeah of, uh, Niners, football. of Niners football that you you have no idea who, who okay. John Brody is or yeah why Gene Tittle. Washington why Tittle uh why Tittle's one of the most underrated players in NFL history in my opinion yeah, former giant yeah yeah yeah, he is. I mean, I don't know too much about him, but I know the name is just before John Brody. Yeah, that's when I was watching was John Brody. You know, yeah. So uh, you're saying that the Niner fans started it? They're the ones that started this whole feud. Yeah, the Niner fans are the blame 
for everything that's wrong in the NFL. Really? That's where it starts, yes. The Niners? And the Cowboy fans. <laughs> Why Cowboys, though? Because <sighs> they're the, the ones that, like, they can't, that team can't do anything wrong. It's not, it's America's team. And, and you're supposed to like the Cowboys because that's not American if you don't like the Cowboys. Well, you know, they're, they're, that image I never really liked. And, I, you know, I have a lot of friends and family that are Cowboy fans. Cowboy! Cowboy! But I do not care for the Cowboys. Look, Cowboy! I, I hate them. Uh, and, and, no, I mean, I, I, I mean it's all fans. I mean, Ra- Raider fans are, are just as just as horrible yeah but you mentioned niner fans and cowboys fans specifically and those two franchises don't like each other either yeah so so what makes them more alike than not because i feel like niner fans and cowboys fans are more similar than they are different and that's why they hate each other so much the thing about at least i could say about niners fans they, they come down to reality a lot quicker than cowboys fans cowboys fans think that they're still an elite team and they're they're still relevant they're they're still relevant and they're not they're not not. they haven't been relevant for god knows how long (laughs) but you ask them they think they're just on the cutting edge and they're they're not they're not niner fans have have been chopped down a little bit they realize they've been through a couple of bad quarterbacks and they realize that you know how hard it is you know to to get a good quarterback a good team yeah and then you have to sit through all these horrible seasons and Face the ridicule and get your heart broken multiple times. Yeah, but I did like during the '90s when they would battle it out when the the Niners and the Cowboys would would would, uh, would battle play it game. out. Oh, uh, it would be I, I would because it would be like just say if you're a let's just say if you're a uh, a kid and your your mom um it's like watching your your stepdad your asshole stepdad. <laughs> Fighting your 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 mom's asshole new boyfriend <laughs> is just you just just no losing that one. It's just it's it's great, you know. And you hope they beat the shit out of each other. <laughs> and you love every step. Not that I would know how that feels because I I never had that experience. But if if I did, you would assume. that's what it had to feel like, you yeah. know, because you you wish they kill each, they both kill each other. Yeah. But eventually, it's you're gonna win either way. Yeah. You know so. That was good when when they were, had that rivalry going. Yeah, and, and they were good football teams. I mean, I'm not gonna Troy Aikman, Troy yeah. Aikman, and they had um, Steve Young, Steve Young, and um, T.O. Yeah, T.O. at the time they had Jerry Rice still. Mm-hmm. They had um, mm-hmm. you know Emmitt Smith and uh, uh, Michael Irvin. And, yeah, Michael Irvin. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, and the Raiders, where were they? Uh, they were nowhere to be seen. <laughs> they were in, I think, in L.A. at the time still. When and did the Raiders come back? The, they were in 94, 95. right? 95. Oh, 95. Came back in 94, wallowing in the misery of that and just mediocre teams. We did have Bo Jackson. We had flashes, but most of the time it was just badly coached teams, badly yeah. disciplined teams. Mm-hmm. It was just hard to watch. Empty stadiums. And then they came back to Oakland. And then they came back to Oakland, and and it, actually they 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 got a a lot of good following. They don't they don't um, they always sell out. Yeah, they always sell out. Even though they're horrible, they have people still come. They enjoy, you know, you could be their team. The yeah, the, the games are like a, it's a it's a it's a party party. It's a thing, you know. I, yeah, the, the tailgates are are crazy. Because I know last night um, we're recording this on a Friday. This will be out on Sunday. Or Saturday, sorry. Last night was the Raiders' last primetime game, barring a flex um, between, you know, like when the Raiders play the Jags or the Raiders play the Titans. One of those two games might get flexed depending on if the Jags win a couple games or the Titans win a couple games and we keep winning. But barring that, that that was the last primetime game in Oakland Coliseum. Um, So, like... What are what are some memories you have of being in that stadium for Raiders games specifically? Because I mean the A's are still going to play there, but oh god, I did nothing really happened. I mean every every game I went to, they lost, <laughs> so it wasn't and it, the teams weren't all that good. It was a couple of games I went to an Eagles Raiders game that that they came back and won, but it was what year was that? Um. Had to have been like the late 90s, 97, 98, mm. right around there. And right when I was born. 
Yeah, maybe it was actually probably 96 because you weren't born yet. Oh, okay. I went to a, another game where on Miami and Raiders, we got beat. And uh, uh, we were up in the third deck, and we got these guys these, just standing up in front of us randomly. <laughs> they wouldn't sit down. and Yeah, but it, it, you know, uh, but it's come a long way. It's, it's uh, uh, When they first came back, it was still that – they had the stink of L.A. coming on them, so it was like you had that attitude. Those There was a lot of – fighting going on a lot of yeah. stuff but when I went I mean it's been a while since I've been back but since I've been back and been to the games it's totally different a lot more mellower yeah they seem to have a handle on on uh, their security and mm-hmm. you don't see the craziness you just see people there having a good time yeah the tailgating is the tailgating unlike anything it's crazy I mean the bands and the and the DJs and just people bring their their TVs and TVs. stuff oh yeah that's always been the TVs couches mm-hmm. uh, it's just that's a lot of calories to be burnt oh yeah and then again they're eating a lot of stuff so there's quite a bit of calories that they can <laughs> regardless burn. Yeah. yeah no it's it the it's so fun to tailgate at a Raiders yeah. game it's it's unlike it's, anything I, I think, think I'll have experienced to me sometimes it's kind of funner than the game I hate to the say tailgating that. yeah uh, well, yeah, when you I'm have a, a t- when you <laughs> when you go play against the Chiefs and you're the Raiders, I mean, it's gonna it's the, it's not gonna the tailgating's funner than the. Well, no, I have a hard time peeling myself away from the tailgate. That's what I'm saying. Oh, it's I'm, I'm in that tailgating mood. I don't feel like getting herded into a a, a, a line, a, a line, and, yeah. and then you know going through the turnstile or whatever. They check your stuff, yeah. and the guy, you know, they you know whatever yeah. they do to frisk you or finger you or whatever and then you got to go and then you sit in you know it's just it's a lot i'm in the mood yeah when i'm in the mood that tailgating mood i don't really want to get out of it but yeah there's some people that just go for the tailgate yeah, they don't yeah, even I, they don't even go to the I, game i would but, it, but when you come back out of the game <laughs> it feels like you're in a third world country yeah like, it's like what happens at the party where it looked like like a bomb went off in there. <laughs> there's, there's trash everywhere and everybody's pissed because the raiders lost and yeah yeah, it was like where 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 did I where where am I where am I? You know? <laughs> what happened to the party and the big festive the festival? You know? Yeah, Every, no. all the trash bags are on the ground. <laughs> people throwing up and it's just, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a lot of it's a lot of fun. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, it's it's yeah, the games are good. I mean, I I don't know if I'd be able to go to you know. uh Every game. Uh, yeah, every game. Too I don't much. Know about that. It's a little much for but go once a year is good enough maybe twice but just you know the crowds and everything it's kind of sometimes it's a little much and um the beer is outrageous oh yeah yeah uh, no the beer prices i mean at any stadium though but, but i mean come 17 dollars for i think it was 17 bucks for that when we went 70 for a bud for light. one beer yeah 17 for one one beer a bud light at that the beer you tasted even worse because I paid seventy bucks for it. <laughs> That's what I mean. If... I one thing I will say about Raiders games because I have been to a Niners game at the new Levi Stadium with with uh, my mom, and um, the I've said this to you before, but obviously never said it on the podcast. The crowds are just so different. Like when you you and I go to games, um, you can like turn around to anybody when there's like a blown call or some, some like bullshit happens in the game. That's like, obviously the Raiders got screwed on it or something. You can turn around and be like, Oh dude, that's fucking stupid. That's yeah. bullshit. And then the other guys, like, yeah, man. And you can talk to them. Yeah. Like it's a camaraderie. Yeah. The family. Almost. Yeah, yeah. Like you yeah. can talk to anybody. No one's going to yeah. be a dick to you. You know, not everybody will not be a dick, but most people won't. Yeah. Um, but at a nine at the Niners game I went to, like we were sitting there and um you know, just like watching the game and something work something happens that, you know, like of course I'm gonna kinda pull for the Niners because with my mom, you know, I don't want to root against against them, ruin the fun. And um like so they were playing the Titans and like something happened, like there was obvious pass interference, they didn't mm-hmm. call it. And I turned to one of the dudes next to me and I was like, dude, that's fucking stupid. Like how how could they not catch that? And the guy just like looks at me, and then just like looks back at like his family that he was with, and just starts talking to them. Like doesn't doesn't like looks at me as if I'm crazy. Yeah, for You're even saying my anything. space, man. Yeah, just like what? I like, feel, I, well, you know, he's that's a lot of those. That's the mentality of a lot of Niner fans. It's just they don't want to be they don't want to be threatened. You know, <laughs> it's just it's just such a different vibe. Like, 
I don't know, too. Like, he probably made him spill his rosé and his <laughs> cheese. And, oh, my God, this is like vintage 1999. <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> but, no, it's just so weird. Like, the fan bases. Maybe it's just Oakland in general. But even the music that's played at, like, Raider games. Like, you have the old Motown mm-hmm. stuff playing the funk. And it, 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 it has that vibe. Like, you know, it, it's fun. But then you go to the Niners games and... Um, you have the the teeny bopper girl dance music. No, on. not really. No. But it's just maybe it's just my bias. Maybe I'm biased because I'm a Raiders fan, yeah. obviously. So I feel like only Raiders fans can do it right. But yeah, but <laughs> something to be said. I mean, there's a lot you could say bad about Raiders fans, but when it comes to partying down and doing the camaraderie thing, nah, yeah, nah, they're pretty much they're number one they're they're super bowl champs uh, <laughs> of that of that they'd be they'd they'd be the patriots yeah of, they'd um, be the patriots <laughs> you know i'd be bill belichick <laughs> but um let's go into like the season this season specifically because right. this has been a really weird season in a good way for the raiders i'd say mm-hmm. we're five and four just beat the chiefs um we have wins against the broncos the colts the bears uh the Lions and the Chargers under our belt. So we have the Bengals, the Jets, and the Chiefs the next three games. What do you think is going to happen? Uh, what have you seen? What do you like about this team? I like the running back. I've lo- the um, Josh Jacobs. Yeah, the defense is up and down. I do like some of the defensive backs. The guy that got the three pick, the, Eric well, Harris. He had two picks, almost three, but they called one back. Yeah. Those, but he, Eric Harris, uh, the um, Crosby, um, just some really good spots, really good things going on. They lost the defensive back early the first game, the rookie oh, guy. So um, they, they would Jonathan be lot, Abram. Yeah, they would have been a lot better with him. But yeah, maybe next year. Um, yeah, uh, they still, you know, Carr's got to keep playing better. Their offensive line is is okay. It just seems like they're not very consistent. Yeah, uh, I I see them going probably, the, the, like I said, I think they can go to the first. I mean, the first round of the playoffs. Yeah, and I'm thinking, and that's it. That's, that's the end about, of the road. Yeah, I think they're about right there. They're not scaring anybody, you know. Now, and there, people are kind of talking about it because they were the only game on yesterday. And what about the Raiders? And it, you know, yeah. Really, if you look at it, Philip Rivers gave him that game. He 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 handed it to him. You take away those picks, take away half of the picks, and they, they the Chargers win that game. And, and then arguably the Lions game too. Yeah, Matthew Stafford kind of gave it to the Raiders yeah, too because so. of that pick he threw in the end zone. But Daryl Worley, that was a crazy one-handed interception. Yeah, yeah you have to I give mean, it to him. Yeah, it, it, it's a, their their defense gets the turnaround, the turnovers, and but we'll see, we'll see. I I don't, you know, you never know. They get if you guys got to do is get in the playoffs. It's a whole new season, so yeah. Uh, but I just see I just going because yeah, because I've been down this ugly road so many times. <laughs> I could see that we'll get to the first round and uh, it and just kind of be over. And then they go and they shit their pants in the in the uh, first game, and then it'll be over. And then we move on to watch the Patriots play uh, play the Saints, the Saints or whoever. <laughs> and then you know. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go game by game, All right. and we're gonna see what you project the Raiders to finish at. Um, And then we'll go and I will tell you what I believe their best road is if they go into the playoffs. How are they going to get as far as they possibly can? And I will tell you how. But first, I need you to to tell your prediction. So next week, they play the Bengals in Oakland. It's a 125 game. The line is uh, negative 8, minus 8, Oakland. Well, I don't gamble. It's against my religion, but I I don't... (laughs) Yeah, I, I don't uh, uh, subscribe to that, and I don't know do I want anybody of your listeners to, you know, I don't want to affect them negatively. In their oh, life. come I, on. But I would say, yeah, the Raiders should win that game easily because you have uh, the the um, the ginger the gingerbread man throwing at picks left and right. Who, Andy Dalton? Andy Dalton. He's not playing. He's benched. Oh, is he? They benched him for some other dude named Allen, last name Allen. Oh, Alan. that's right. That's right. There's like three Allens yeah, playing yeah, in the yeah. NFL right now. Yeah. I don't understand. But, yeah, okay, yeah they have well, one of them. Yeah, if, if, yeah. That should be an, an easy win for them. Then then the next game is the Jets, right? Oh, wait, no, not Allen. 
or Jeff Driscoll. I don't know. Who cares? Yeah, it was, they benched yeah, a guy. Yeah, yeah. Then it's um, the Jets. So okay, so you have them yeah. winning that game. So they're six and four. And then the Jets. Then the Jets in New York. They should. They should beat the Jets. I mean, the Jets might get lucky. But I mean, the Jets like, beat the the Cowboys. Yeah. What happened <laughs> the next week? Yeah. You know they they yeah, the Jets. Yeah. They should beat the Jets. Yeah. Because if they lose to the Jets, you have no business in the playoffs. You, you have right. no business. So they beat the Jets. That's so they should be. They're two, seven and four. Seven and four going into going into Arrowhead or Arrowhead. Yep, 10 a.m. Uh, start at Arrowhead Stadium. I think if Mahomes is playing, they are going to lose that game. You think so? Yeah. Okay. I, I just don't think, like, yeah. I mean, I would be surprised if they win. They could, but. Yeah, there's a chance they might not. Yeah. There's a big chance they yeah, might not. Yeah, it's, it's a, I say they got to. The defense just has to keep playing. Yeah. They have to play better than they did yesterday yeah. to to keep in there. Like yeah. the 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 line first of all there's a reason why Mahomes got hurt. That charge that's not Chargers. That Chiefs offensive line is not that good. Yeah, and he scrambles around. And he scrambles around. So if if this is a sign that the Raiders rookie defensive ends are coming into their own with Max Crosby and Cleland Farrell. Mhm. I think that they might have a better chance at beating the Chiefs this time around than week two. Yeah. But that's just me. But he lit them up pretty good. Oh, they no, were, and they were winning the game, if you remember. They were 10-0. 10-0. In the first quarter. But. And it all went, <laughs> you know. Three touchdowns in a row back to back, back, to, back, back to back. Back to back. And what do we do? We three and out. and we're You know. That's the thing about the Raiders. And then I'll, after that, we'll keep going. But um, the Raiders just. When they have an edge like last night, they were ten to zero. They had the ball. They could have made it seventeen to zero. That would have been it. But they, did, but they, they couldn't. They cannot just. They can't just cut the throw to the other team. No, no. They, they can't. They, they, they can't. They had to let them back up. You know. They have to. It's. It's. I don't know if it's Derek Carr. I don't know if it's coaching because that's a consistent thing ever yeah, since Derek yeah. Carr has been yeah, you, you, a, a quarterback for the Raiders. Like it's just like. He lets off the gas yeah. and lets him back up, and then and then he's like, "Oh shit, shit, shit!" And then yeah. he and then he keeps going yeah. after that. After they give him a chance, it's yeah, like you, they just don't know when to put their foot on the, the neck. You know, yeah, or... it's it doesn't make sense. Okay, so we'll give that that one to the tree, the Chiefs. So, so seven we're seven and five. Five. Then the Titans come to town and play the Raiders in Oakland. So one twenty-five start. He should be able to win that game. Okay, so we're eight and five. Eight and five. And then the Jags come nick Foles will be playing at this time barring an injury it will not be gardner Minshew, unless nick Foles totally stinks it up and they put the gardner back but and he wasn't really that he was a good he was pretty good he was like leading the rookie of the year conversation before josh jacobs went to town but um i would uh, that's a toss-up but i'll give it to the raiders on that one okay so nine and five nine and five and now we go into our second home, the StubHub Center of Los Angeles. Oh yeah, that's... and play the Chargers. In that beautiful facility they they don't have over the there, the soccer field. That at that time, I I think the Chargers are going to be kind of out of it because their schedule is pretty tough. And then, but then they're going to be up. They're going to try to upset, and that's why the Raiders. Yeah, they're are... going to try to kill the Raiders' dreams, and which is what happens to the Raiders typically when they really need to win. They go and they they win. They lose horribly, so I think they're going to split that one and they're going to lose. So they won this one. They're going to lose that one. Okay, so that's what nine and six. Nine and six. That's nine and six. Okay, and then last game of the year. Also, that Jaguars game, last game in Oakland Coliseum ever. Yeah. Barring a huge yeah. setback of, you know, Allegiant Stadium yeah. in Las Vegas. Then you have the Broncos. So Raiders at Broncos. Last game of the year, week seventeen. Uh, they should win that. So you're so ten and six is the record. Six. Okay, that's not crazy. Honestly, the Raiders' schedule is pretty favorable coming up. And there uh, are certain games, like I said, they're toss ups. The, the Jaguars game, Jaguars game, Titans game, the Titans game could could be so it could, it could be and the Chargers. Yeah, I'd it, say the Chargers. It, it could go. Too. That could go. It could just go up and just annihilate them. You know. Yeah. Uh, it could be uh, nine and seven, yeah, ten and six, 
I mean, who knows? Who knows? But right around, right, right around, around that there. area. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what needs to happen for the Raiders to succeed in the playoffs. If let's say they get in, if they do not take the West, which they most likely won't because the chiefs have yeah. Mahomes back and he most likely will not get injured and their schedule bar other than, other than the Patriots game is not that difficult in respect to them. Mm-hmm. Um, what has to happen is the Raiders have to get the fifth seed and play the Houston Texans in the first round so that the Houston Texans have to get the fourth seed, right? Right. So out of the, out of the division winners, the Houston Texans are going to have to get the worst record, which most likely will happen because that division is very competitive with the Colts still being okay. And the Jaguars still hanging in there and the Titans still hanging in there. That, Division is very up for grabs. I think the Titans will come out as the top, but I think um, the Tex- uh, I mean the Texans will come out on top, but the Texans are going to be the worst out of mm-hmm. uh, New England, Baltimore, and uh, Kansas City. So if the Raiders can't get the fifth seed and we play the Texans, we almost beat. We should have beaten the Texans. We should have beaten them. And the Packers game was a lot closer than a lot of people are talking about. Yeah. But we should have beaten the Texans. So we can beat them. And without J.J. Watt, you know, and if if, uh, Will Fuller still misses time, DeAndre Hopkins is a little banged up too. They don't really have a dependent running back. Carlos Hyde's okay. But the Raiders' run defense is pretty good. I don't know. I, I think that we could beat the Texans if we play them. Right, yeah. and the Packer game too. That was that one dumb play by Carr, that w- which we've seen whole, before. That was a fourteen. Actually, if you figure out, it's a twenty-one point swing right there. Yeah, because they 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 could have scored. They didn't score. Packers get they scored. That's fourteen points swing. Then they scored another when they got the ball back. That's twenty-one points. Yeah, if they would have scored. It would have been you know. Oh yeah, so much more close than yeah, people talk about. That was a that was a yeah one play changed the whole game. But yeah, yeah. So the, the the Raiders have to play the Texans. Let's say the Raiders beat the Texans because they can't. They have the horsepower to beat them. Yeah. Then they would play, being the fifth seed, dependent on if the third seed, which I would say is going to be probably, who do you like better, Baltimore or Kansas City? Is that the I mean, to play against or to? No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, like who do you think? Oh, Kansas City. Kansas City. Yeah. Baltimore. Baltimore was good, but I think they're they're not they're uh, not consistent. Like Kansas City was consistently come out, and, mm-hmm. and you don't really see them going out and mm-hmm. uh, you know laying an egg. Yeah, you, know? you don't see that. I mean, yeah, and I'm sure they will at some point. But they they played pretty, even though they lose, they're, mm-hmm. they're always in it. They're always. So you like you like Baltimore or you like Kansas City over Baltimore? Oh yeah. Okay, so let's say the Bills are the sixth seed in the AFC. And Baltimore's the third seed. That's a wild card game. Who do you think would win between the Bills and the Ravens? The Ravens. Okay. So the Ravens would play the Chiefs. Because the Chiefs would probably have the number two seed. The Patriots, it's looking like, are going to run away with the number one seed in the AFC again. So the Raiders would then have to go and play the Patriots. At that point, it's over. And we get up. <laughs> No, we get our payback for the tuck rule. You think so? Max Crosby's going to come in and can just lay level up. just or Carl Joseph line side uh, <laughs> uh, Tom Brady or Jonathan Abram gets activated for the game number twenty four and he comes oh, back and that just would be awesome. That, that would be my dream. And you know, and but yesterday before the before the game, they actually played the that. They played the it. tuck rule, the tuck rule with Charles Woodson watching it. And he gave his little spiel. He did a stick, you know, about yeah, yeah. It. and I, I forgot that the, the referee actually says it's, uh, it was, uh, not a fumble. His arm was going forward. The passer's arm was going forward. Then they, but before that they show it in slow motion forward, back, uh, hit fumble yeah and then i was and i forgot i go that's right the referee did say his arm was going forward which is total bullshit because 
He had it tucked in. That's why they call it a tuck. Now and then they say, oh, it's the tuck rules. When you tuck it in. <laughs> and I've never heard of that. I, when a guy, his arm ain't going forward, is coming back. If he drops the ball, he drops the ball. It's a fumble. Yeah. Tuck. I never heard tuck. <laughs> tuck. Anything. You know? The tucks are those things for your hemorrhoids. That's, <laughs> that's what I know that's for, you know. And, and I was just like, but, and you, they waited. It was, it was, they, they, they were going to go to the next play and then they, they, they called it. Then they yeah. were like, they huddled. Like, they were like, hold on a sec. This can't happen. Yeah. And like a call was made or something happened. And next thing you know, they're like, yeah, hold on. We're going to review this. <laughs> You know, it wasn't like a bam, bam, bam thing. You uh, know, it's man. crazy. But, yeah, but but yeah. Anyways, that that I that would be the greatest thing to all of a sudden to, if, to end the dynasty of the of the uh, Patriots, Patriots, the, Raiders. the way it started with Gruden on the sidelines. Gruden too. and, and I, I was hoping that Woodson would be on the team and he'd be able to do it one more time. <laughs> he probably could if they put oh, him he back probably on could. the team. It guy's yeah. fast as hell. So. Yeah, he's still in shape. Yeah. So well. If the Raiders were able somehow to beat the Patriots and, and fulfill your destiny, fulfill your dream, they would have to play either the Ravens or the Chiefs. And I don't know if they could beat either of those teams either. Because with running quarterbacks, they just can't, they yeah. cannot contain them. Yeah. And then even that, if they go up against the Saints or the Packers or the Niners in the Super Bowl, I don't think they could contain any of those. So. No, if they, they if they can just knock off the Patriots, then this is a huge yeah, yeah. under very low probability. I'm happy. I'm happy with them. That'd be amazing though. First round. I mean, like I said, just first, the Texans. first rounder, first round game. They get knocked out, and then I I go back to doing yard work for the rest of the year. <laughs> <laughs> but even even if they go in and beat the Texans, like I'm saying, I don't. I think that would be uh, pretty awesome. Yeah, just winning a playoff game would be freaking awesome. That would be that would be a great way to just. S- send the raider nation raider nation out and it would be horrible like the next the next following year when they're in las vegas they win the super bowl and <laughs> just like what they did with la, with LA. <laughs> and they're still practicing in alameda but they go to and they go to la with the oakland was the oakland raiders yeah and they win in la and then they have big uh a parade in la and all this stuff and you know and all and the mayor comes out and and it's a middle finger to Oakland in the Bay Area. Like, what but what about us? So we, we yeah. you know Yeah. Nothing for them. Nothing, nothing for the for you, another, nothing for Oakland. Nothing for you, Oakland. You can yeah. you know it's bullshit. It's gonna be sad when they go. But there's still a lot of football to be played and who knows what could happen in that time. Yeah. There's a lot of dominoes that can fall in any direction. Who knows? Maybe the Chiefs lose to the Chargers next week in Mexico City, and the Raiders keep winning, and we supplant them in the AFC yeah. West. Who knows? You never know. Anything's it, possible. Anything's possible in this league. And uh, when they go, I mean, the Raiders are gone. I just it's been down this road before, so it's not like I. But at least they're just in Vegas. It's not yeah. San Antonio. Because yeah, I, I go, I go to Vegas all the time. So you know. Well, I mean, I do. I, I don't. I haven't been, been there. you never been to Vegas? No. It's a good place. I like that. Yeah, I, I mean, I like to go to Raider games all the time either, so it's not like... But, I mean, good. one a year. I mean, that's what we already do. One a year, I mean... Yeah, maybe. I mean, maybe if, depending. I'm sure the ticket prices are going to be... Astronomical. And, and, it, and who knows what kind of... How the crowd's going to be now. That yeah. It's, it's, it's not going to be like, like Oakland. If you think it's going to be like that, it's not going to be like that. It's uh, gonna, We'll see. Maybe people will... We'll, we'll travel. Maybe they won't. Maybe you get it, the the L.A. crowd going there. Maybe a different crowd. I just think it remains to be seen. It remains to be seen what will happen. But mm. all I know is, like I said, there's a lot of football to be played this season. It's an exciting Raiders team. We actually have a chance to get into the playoffs. And even just getting in, I think, like in the NBA, you want your team, your young team, that needs experience in the playoffs to get that experience. And I feel like that's what – Derek Carr has never played in a playoff game. Never, because he got hurt the one season we got yeah. in. Connor Cook started for us that, that game because Matt McGloin got hurt, our third-string quarterback. So I think it would be good for even just us to just get in. He needs to play a playoff game. Well, yeah, that would so, be great. I mean, after six years, I mean. That's what I'm saying. I mean, Jesus. that's a win. Even just us getting in the playoffs would be a win. So. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to say about, about the Raiders before we go? That's I about just that say time. God bless the Raiders. And God bless the NFL and God bless Roger Goodell because I know he cares about all of us. (laughs) 
Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah, he's he's a fine, fine man of God. Yeah, you're totally not joking or anything. No, <laughs> Roger Goodell is awesome. <laughs> he loves Al Davis too. So. <laughs> anyways, anyways, all I gotta say is Raiders, Raiders. That's all I gotta say. I, don't know. I know you hate that. I, I don't know that why chant. that annoys me so much, but <laughs> it just does. I, I don't. I don't do that. Yeah, you do. I, I at the game, you you hit the Raiders. no. I do Raiders like that. That's me. I don't go Raiders. Raiders. You know, even when they lose, you should just shut your mouth and go and get in your car and go go home. Take wipe off your paint or whatever the hell you got in your face and just go home. Go home and sleep it off. Cry in your pillow. And tomorrow's another day. That's what you should do. All right. Well, we'll make sure to do that after we listen to this podcast. Yeah. I'm going to cry on my pillow right now. <laughs> All, All right. right. Well, thank you for coming well, on. Thanks for, uh, for having me and in, uh, here anytime. I hope you'll uh, you'll come on soon before the, the year ends. Yeah. So, like to, like share, some, here. share some Christmas stories or something. I oh, yeah. I dropped some. I got some more titty for y'all, you kitties. <laughs> All right, guys. So on uh, Monday, we have local artist and uh, author uh, Elias Garcia. He's the author of The Cosmic Lore. I'm going to be recording with him shortly. And that episode will be out on Monday at noon. We talk about his comic book. Um, his comic. Uh, sorry. We talk about his comic, um, comic books in general. And also he gives some music recommendations. He's a musician as well. So it's going to be really fun. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you then. Have a great weekend. Take care.